All right, remember ice charts? I hope so, because that's what's going to be necessary here. We're going to start off writing down what we know about this reaction. So all of these materials play a role. They're all gases, so they're all going to play a role in the equilibrium constant. I'm going to start by writing out my equation. 2NOCl is going to become 2NO and Cl2. So I have my ice chart, my initial, my change, and my equilibrium. So my initial concentration, I know that of NOCl, I have 2.43 times 10 to the negative 2. And according to this, we usually, if we're not told otherwise, we can assume the concentration of the other substances is zero. So that's our starting amount. We're trying to find the equilibrium constant. So according to this, 72.7% of this is going to decompose. So we ask ourselves, all right, well, this is the initial amount, 2.43 times 10 to the negative 2. What is 72.7% of that? So we're going to multiply by 0.727, right, out of 100. That's the decimal form of this. And we're going to figure out how much of it reacts. So 2.43 times 10 to the negative 2 times 0.727. And I get point, well, let's do this in scientific notation, 1.77 times 10 to the negative 2. So in the change, I can write this is going to drop by 1.77 1.77 times 10 to the negative 2. And this is where the ice chart comes in handy. If this is going to drop by that amount, if it's a 2 to 2 ratio, then this one is going to increase by 1.77 times 10 to the negative 2. And the chlorine is going to increase, since its coefficient is only 1, it's going to go up by half that. So we're going to have to do half of this value, which is going to go up by... 8.83 times 10 to the negative 3. So we've figured out all our changes. Now it's a matter of calculating what are the concentrations of equilibrium. So here I'm just going to do my subtraction of 2.43 times 10 to the negative 2 minus 1.77 times 10 to the negative 2. When I do that, I get 6.6 uh, .6 times 10 to the negative 3. These are going to be exactly the same because they started off at zero. So I'll plug those in. And then it's asking me to calculate the equilibrium constant. Remember the equilibrium constant, the formula for that, K is going to equal, it's the products. So it'll be NO squared times Cl2, just as it is, divided by NOCl squared. And now I'm just going to plug in these numbers, these equilibrium numbers, into this to get my k value. So um, NO squared is going to be 1.77 times 10 to the negative 2. And these are ugly numbers, I know, but the, the principle is there. Times 8.83 times 10 to the negative 3. This is not squared because it's just a single coefficient. Divided by 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 3. This one is squared. So then I'm just going to calculate that out, 1.77 times 10 to the negative 2 squared, multiplied by 8.83 times 10 to the negative 3. I'm going to divide that by 6.6 times 10 to the negative 3 squared. When I do this, I get a k value of 0 0.0635, or I could also write it 6.35 times 10 to the negative 2. So that is my final answer. That is the ratio I find at uh, equilibrium. So until next time, I'm Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.